We are once again back with breaking news here on Titans Today as Tennessee has claimed two different players off of waivers. First up is former Cowboys safety Julius Wood, a 2024 undrafted free agent out of East Carolina. They have also claimed off of waivers from the Houston Texans Defensive end, edge rusher, Ali Gay. That is a former 2023 undrafted free agent out of LSU. So two notable additions here by Tennessee that will eventually result in other moves coming down the pipeline as well. So stay tuned for that. Look, other moves are going to come. There's going to be two uh, other roster moves made to make room for those guys. Probably in the next half hour, give or take, is when that will be reported. Uh, there are also going to be practice squad additions. We'll have a little video for you guys on that. So make sure you are subscribed. YouTube.com slash Titans today. If you did not already know, uh, one of my main jobs here at Chat Sports is the Cowboys Report host. So I would argue nobody is better equipped uh, for a Julius Wood waiver claim than I would be for you Titans fans out there. And this is a great pickup by Tennessee. Probably not as good as Jonas Jones, the fourth trade. But this is a really good addition by Tennessee. As a Cowboys uh, report host, I am disappointed that he did not get to go down to the Cowboys practice squad. For Titans today, though, it's a good pickup. You, you are adding an impactful football player who is going to potentially benefit your roster. Now, impactful relative to the preseason. He was awesome in the preseason. And there are many Cowboys fans who are upset and disappointed by the Cowboys being unable to get Wood through waivers and down to the practice squad. In fact, if I ran the Cowboys, it's not the move I would have made. I would not have jeopardized losing Julius Wood to waivers. That safety room in Dallas is pretty good, but that's a notable loss given how impactful and impressive he was in the preseason. We'll spend some more time on Wood, Allie Gay, and the two players the Titans themselves lost off of waivers, which probably aren't as big of a deal. But grade the pickups for me, both Allie Gay and Julius Wood. A, B, C, D, or F in the comment section, the pinned comment, actually, of today's show. So if the ad comes on YouTube, ignore it. Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. The 2024 preseason was a damn good one for Julius Wood, who didn't have a ton of interest out there as an undrafted free agent. He only had, um, I believe it was 90K. Uh, as a signing, or no, it was, no, was 170-something K. For just, I'm thinking of a different player there. So, decent amount, but not massive amounts of interest there. He had nine tackles, a TFL, two interceptions, kind of playing all over the field for the Dallas Cowboys, as many safeties do, can play deep, can play strong safety stuff there. One forced fumble. This is probably less impactful for 2024, but very intriguing for 2025 given the fact that you don't necessarily have anyone guaranteed a roster spot beyond this year because you could move on from Elijah Wood, Imani Hooker, if you wanted to. Quandre Diggs, Jamal Adams are all veteran players who probably have a year left there. You know, Mike Brown is going to be a solid rotation piece, backup, special teams type of player there. I think Julius Wood can help you on special teams too. I'd probably put him ahead of Mike Brown. Um, so... He's not going to play over Quandre Diggs, Adams, Hooker, and probably not even Elijah Molden, but it's a good pickup by Tennessee. Short-term, long-term, you're adding some ability at the safety position. I think that that is a, a shrewd decision by Tennessee. I like what this front office is cooking. I'm not going to lie. I, I think they're making a lot of good moves, Rand Carthon is, and head coach Brian Callahan. This is definitely a Rand Carthon move. Break down Allie Gay here in a second, but look, it's football season. I'm busy. There's not a lot of time that I have to do uh, and cook. I, 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 it's just not available to me. That's why I love Factor Meals. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, You'll, have, you'll always have new flavors to explore. From breakfast to dessert, stay fueled with easy and fast nutritious options. Head to factormeals.com slash titanschat50 and use code titanschat50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code titanschat50 at factormeals.com slash titanschat50 to get 50% off your first box, box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. 
Link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. The second waiver claim by Tennessee, Allie Gay, the 6'6", 265 pass rusher, uh, formerly of the Houston Texans, spent his college time at LSU, uh, did not make the Titans roster last year. He was on the practice squad for the entire time. Clearly, Tennessee, I think, liked what they saw uh, in the preseason. He played a bunch of snaps for Tennessee, eight quarterback pressures, hurries specifically, on 78 pass rush snaps. That's pretty solid. We'll get into this time to have to make two moves. I don't know if they're going to carry six pass rushers. Six pass rushers is a lot. There's Harold Landry, Arden Key. I think Jalen Harrell is very safe. If I were Caleb Murphy and, and Rashad Weaver, knowing that a move is going to come in the not-too-distant future, I'd be a little bit worried here. Um, six is a lot of guys to carry. Now, Ali Gay is so long um, with, with his frame that you could almost try to play him as like a 4-3 base defensive end, but you have guys that can do that too. So I'm curious what ends up happening and developing from that perspective. Of the two players, who was the better pickup? I think you guys know what I'm going with. It's Julius Wood, but I believe in democracy, so please vote for me. AG for Allie Gay, GW for Julius Wood. Now, with those two players being signed, two other players have to go from the active roster in some capacity. That could be a simple release. You cut somebody and move on, or it could be somebody putting somebody on IR or doing one of each or doing two instead of just one of each there. I think there are some position groups to monitor here. First up for me is inside linebacker. Do you need seven inside linebackers? Do you need Ernest Jones and Kenneth Murray and Jack Gibbons and Cedric Gray and James Williams and Otis Reese and Luke Gifford? I don't think so. Uh, I believe Luke Gifford also, also counts as a vested veteran, so you could get him down to the practice while having to go through waivers if that's a path you wanted to go. Cedric Gray's got that weird shoulder nerve thing that we don't have many updates on as of right now that I've seen in depth stuff there. So you could put uh, him on injured reserve. That frees up one spot. Five tight ends. Also a lot to carry. Chico Conquo, Josh Wiley, Thomas uh, Urukuya, Nick Vanette, uh, Martin Robinson. Five's a lot. You could, I think Vanette's a vested veteran. I think you could cut one of those five guys. Uh, not Wiley and Vanette would probably be the one that stands out to me, but we'll see what happens there. You can make some moves and get those guys down to the practice squad potentially. So who do you think the Titans will end up cutting and or putting on IR? Drop that name for me in the comments of today's show. The Titans did lose two players to waivers. They were unable to get them to the practice squad. Hassan Haskins, the Michigan man, goes back to play with Jim Harbaugh. <laughs> Doesn't that make sense? Uh, well, you know, we'll see if, if Jabari Small makes it through the practice squad. I would bet there's a decent chance of that happening. Askins might have been RB5 anyway, but he gets to go to L.A. It's Tony Pollard, Tajay Spears, Julius Chestnut on the active roster. I don't think that was overly surprising. Haskins kind of never lived up to expectations in Tennessee. Maybe he'll be a better fit in uh, L.A. The Titans also lost the kicker, Braden Narvison, uh, at NC State to hit that long game winner in Week 2. Good for him. Now gets claimed by the Green Bay Packers. Remember, they draft a kicker in the fourth round in 2023. Stop drafting kickers. It does not ever work out. Uh, so I'm actually more happy for him than I am disappointed because he gets to be a starting kicker. That was at least a year away, maybe more, um, if, uh, you know, if Nick Folk ends up retiring after this upcoming season. So are you upset about losing either player? Why for yes and for no in the comments of today's video.